just look at that beautiful color you can make this scarf by buying some cloth and then simply dyeing it yourself I love to dye uh, things as some of you might have noticed and for this I got this very soft muslin cotton cloth and uh, putting in these two pots not that I'm gonna heat them up but they were just containers that I had and this is kind of a very thick fabric paint so I just tried to use my fingers wearing some gloves of course and I wasn't quite sure how much I was actually gonna use in them so I'm gonna make um, one that's yellow and pink because that's a color combo I really like you can see I'm adding some water and you can also see that it's not really working with my gloves and that that wasn't enough color so now I'm adding some more the cloth has now gotten a little bit wet which is a good thing and I'm just adding some paint and I'm ending up uh, using pretty much all of it and then simply mixing in the two colors with some water mix mixing them in with each other adding some water to the color as well so it's a bit easier to get it out so yeah the fabric gets pretty covered by those two different colors and it's really about massaging it in and uh, seeing if you can get the color distributed all around not blending the colors completely because i don't want to end up with just an orange color i still want to be able to see a little bit of like these two different colors and um it's yeah it's ending up in a really nice way and I, I, I like it especially when I get these little specks of color on it. So that was that color and now I'm going to go to the blue one and I'm just using blue in this and uh, remembering to add some water as well, putting the water in the fabric container and just yeah, adding some more. <laughs> you need quite a bit to soak through this cloth like yeah cotton cloth um, it, it's not that easy it would have been easier if it was silk or some lighter material and then simply just massaging and massaging um, a lot and then just have a little bit of yellow left so I'm just using like the tiniest bit that I've got left to just create some specks and uh, again trying to see if I can get the fabric covered where it isn't that much and then it's dried and it's been um, ironed of course so the color stays and now I'm just gonna make so these corners these edges so that I can actually use it as a scarf so for this one I'm doing it in two different ways I am just folding it once and then doing a zigzag stitch so just doing a very narrow fold like a hem and then adding a zigzag stitch right at the edge of the uh, yeah of the fabric and uh, you can see there's like some little threads here and there, but it's okay. It's um, yeah, actually, there is a lot of, of scarves that you buy that have also be, been finished that way. Probably a little bit more beautiful, but, but this is okay for me. It makes sure that the fabric doesn't fray anymore because it gets folded up and then just hemmed with this zigzag stitch quite narrow. And that's one way to do it. And then in a moment, I'm just gonna show you the different way to do it with the other piece of fabric. And of course, there's a lot of loose threads to cut as you go along the whole time. And that's, yeah, that's just how it is. And you can see here, yes, it doesn't look, look doesn't look pretty all the way, but this was a way just to try and test to see how that works. And once it gets washed again and it gets used, that kind of gets a little bit softer. So for this one, I'm doing a double fold and then normal stitch seam, so not a zigzag stitch. So I'm doing a double fold, folding it once and folding it once again, so you can't see any of the raw edge. So the raw edge just gets hidden inside the seam. And that's quite a good way. Then you don't have any thread that's annoying and it, it looks a little bit more finished, looks a little bit more beautiful. And if you kind of are very, very careful, you can also make it a bit more narrow. And of course, that's also a very good look see that looks pretty and uh, that was a way to make two scarves and sew them as well just out of some very soft nice cotton muslin cloth and uh, i love the way the colors change in them how you can see the specs it's very very pretty 